Hey guys, what's going on? It's Will here bringing you another engineering made easy video. So this time we're going to talk about the difference op amp. So the difference op amp uh, in a nutshell is used to basically subtract two analog signals uh, from each other. Uh, this is very useful for analog circuitry. So uh, let's dive right in. So we got an op amp circuit here. Um, you can see the positive and negative power rails are plus and minus 10 volts. Uh, we already know from talking about it that uh, the op amp can never go above or below the positive and negative power rails. So uh, just to keep something in mind, if it's greater than or less than the power rails, it's in what's known as saturation. It will basically flatline at those values and it will not go above or below. Anything in between that range is called the linear operation. So here we're being asked, uh, you know, if VB is equal to 4 volts, uh, what what can I do with VA so that I still have linear operation? Well, uh, if you look at a uh, difference op amp, there is a standard configuration. And if I just draw it for you real quick. Uh, you can see here that this uh, layout actually matches exactly identical to what we have here. Um, so we know the output voltage is equal to this formulation of resistance and voltage. And we want to basically solve for what's going to be allowed for VA so that VO or the op, the op amp in general is still in uh, linear operation. So what I can simply do is I want to rewrite this equation in terms of VA. Uh, so if I do so... I'm going to get VA is equal to VB minus RA over RB times VO. So uh, I can plug in different values of VO to get whatever the value of the associating VA value would be. So uh, if I plug in, let's say, positive 10 for a saturated output, So at positive 10 volts, I know that VA is going to be equal to a value of 4 minus 1 fifth times 10, or 4 minus 2, or 2 volts. Uh, VO at a negative saturated output. Solving for VA, I'm going to get 4 minus 1 fifth times negative 10 this time. And that's going to bring me a value of 4 plus 2. And that's going to give me a value of 6 volts uh, for VA. So we can see here that whenever I'm at positive saturation, VA is going to be an input value of 2 volts, and whenever I'm negatively saturated, I am going to be at a positive input value of 6 volts for VA. So simply, the answer becomes VA is ranging from 2 volts to 6 volts for linear operation. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like or subscribe.